Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, so today, uh, I'm going to talk about Boyomos. Uh, Boyomos is actually one of the algorithm, one of the two varieties uh, of space for time algorithm. So Boyomos is actually an input enhancement uh, because in time and space trade-off, there are actually two varieties. One is the input enhancement and another one is restructuring. Input enhancement, basically, we take more information from the input, we pre-process the input uh, and we store some information from it uh, to be used later in solving the problem. For example, uh, we're going to look today is string matching. So, by a more, the most important part, the most uh, prominent things from book force algorithm is actually compare the pattern from right to left. Okay, whereby brute force will compare actually the pattern in string matching from left to right. Okay, Boyomo will compute, compute two shift table. The first one is a bad match table. Okay, and the second one is a good suffix table. Okay, so let's look into it. Okay, uh, let's say given to us is a string okay or a pattern uh, for kuyu layu okay so this pattern is actually consisting of eight character so the length of the pattern is eight okay and we need to take the index of each character so zero one two three four five six and seven okay so the back match table is actually to know how many we need to shift the pattern when there is no matching it's a bad match so it doesn't match okay so what we need to do is we just write down list down the characters from the pattern we have here so we have k and then u and then y and then no need to write u again we have already there l a uh, and asterisk Asterisk is a wildcard for any other characters. Okay, so uh, to know uh, the T or the value okay, uh, of how many you need to shift, uh, basically it's an M okay, minus the index minus 1. Okay, so M we have it here, 8. So let's look at K first. Okay. So k index is 0, so 8, because the m is 8, okay, 8 minus 0, the index, and minus 1. So that will be 7, okay. And the second one is u, okay, the first index for u here is 1. So 8 minus 1, minus 1, that will be 6. Right, y the second index so 8 minus 2 minus 1 that will be 5 okay and then we have a second u okay so we're going to update uh, whatever value that we have uh, the existing u so this u is indexed as number 3 so 8 minus 3 minus 1 that will be 4 so we just update the value four, okay, and then we have L, okay, zero one two three four. So just uh, counting again, checking, okay. So M minus four minus one, so eight minus five, that will be three, okay, A. So 8 minus 5, minus 1, that will be 2. Okay, and then we have y again. So y index is 6. So 8 minus 6 minus 1, that will be 1. So just update the value. Okay, and u. Since u is the last character of the index, okay, there is an additional uh, rules for it. If it's not declared yet, beforehand so let's say we don't have any u previously so that would be the m okay if not exist before 
so t equals to m in this case we already have u here okay so this u is 4 so we'll just maintain it as 4 okay right how about any other character okay so any other character we just put the m so we'll have 8 here okay so for us to know what is the value or what is the number of shifting okay that is d1 from the pet match table is the maximum between the t okay whatever the value we have here minus any match character that we found later on when we do the matching okay or one whichever is the maximum okay so now i hope you know how to get the value for bad match table next let us do the good suffix table okay the second table of poemo so good suffix table its name suggests okay basically it depends on the suffix okay that is match match okay so that's why it's good okay good match okay so in this case we are going to look at the pattern okay how many suffix of the pattern okay the whole thing is called as a pattern okay a suffix is only part of it okay so let's say our suffix is only the first character here okay that's mean when we do the matching only the first character only one character on the right is match okay so if this happen only one character match how many shift we can do the d2 okay from good suffix table okay it is not as straightforward as bad match table actually okay there are a few rules there are actually three rules for us to follow okay so let's look at this u okay so if you okay the only one character match okay so we have to shift meaning that when you do matching this character match and this character doesn't match so we want to shift so that this character will move to the right until it's aligned okay this u will align under this uh, index okay so that we can compare again so we were hoping that we can get this u here right so there is a rule there okay so the first rule okay d2 is the distance between the last letter of the match suffix of size k and the last letter of its rightmost occurrence in the pattern that is preceded by a different suffix okay a different suffix for example let's say we have a match here a okay but the prefix okay is b so we cannot move this a here okay so we cannot shift only two okay because it is followed by the same prefix why logic here is because we know that only the first, only one prefix, only one suffix match. So this one match and this one doesn't match. So it's useless if we shift and we still have the same prefix and suffix here. So we have C, A, B, A, B, A here. Okay, so it will fail because we only match A and B and B doesn't match. We already know that the prefix is b so why should we shift b under here so that's why we have to find a, pre a suffix that is preceded by a different uh, suffix okay uh, by a different prefix actually okay sorry prefix so in this case we will find a okay we have two candidate a here but we must find a different prefix so this is B, this is the same, so we cannot use. So we will take this because it's a different prefix. So what we'll do, okay, we will shift here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll shift this pattern. 
so that you will have this A okay that is the first A align here so we will have C A B A B A to compare with whatever string that we have to compare okay so we are hoping that this prefix okay is or will match with whatever text that we are comparing with so that is the first rule so let's go back here okay so we have u here okay so which u we are going to shift so this u is also preceded by uh, the same character so we have to avoid that we have to find a u with a different prefix so we have this candidate u so how many we're going to shift one two three four five six so we have six then okay now if it's two okay two character match so y and u match so let's apply the same rule we have y and u here okay and we have to find a different prefix so this is perfect so how many we can shift one two three four okay let's look at three a y u okay so we don't have a y u here so what can we do okay let's look at the rule number two okay else okay let's say the first rule doesn't apply match the longest part okay longest part of the pattern k character suffix with corresponding prefix okay so now we will find a corresponding prefix but only longest part okay or only a tail of the suffix okay so in this case if our pattern is o w okay so we can see that here is also o w okay so uh, how many shift okay so in this case remember the first rule cannot apply because it is uh, the prefix is the same w and w so we will try to match a tail okay part of the suffix so w and w with a different prefix so the the it's the the prefix is zero uh, o sorry this is also o so we will take this w okay so move one two three four five so we have five here okay how about if it's three okay so three character okay so we have here three and it's not preceded by anything so we can just shift the whole thing so it will be three one two three okay if it's four okay, if it's four so we will try to find any tail of it because we don't have w w o w but we can find w o w with a different prefix uh, which is this yeah so why different prefix because we don't know what will be any character here okay so we shift three so similar case with this three so let's look back at our uh, problem original problem that is to find the gst so here we want to find a pattern for a y u we don't have a y u here but we have part of it okay part of it with which is u y u so if this case okay in this case it's three okay and there's no a y u here we can look at the uh, suffix that is y u and we have y u here okay with a different prefix so we will shift it one two three four okay so we shift four good suffix table okay you can look at the actually there's a two, third rule okay if there's nothing no match at all we just shift the whole m okay i think that's all uh thank you